Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. I've got a quick tech tip for you today. We're gonna look at how to shut off 5G on your iPhone. So most devices these days are coming with 5G and there's pros and cons to that. Of course, 5G, when supported, will allow for much faster uh, transfer rates if you're connecting to different social networks or downloading files or viewing content, it could be faster. But there's issues with that too. That means faster data consumption, which means you know as you're streaming stuff, you're gonna get higher quality stuff, which is gonna use up more data, and that may or may not be an issue. There's also the fact that some people think 5G may or may not be contributing to the end of the world. And so regardless of what you think, you may wanna turn off 5G for one reason or another. Now, I'm not here to speculate on anything. I just really want to show you how to turn off 5G in case you want to turn it off for any reason at all, which also could include just saving on battery life if you live in one of those areas where 5G is available. So let's go ahead and unlock our phone. Uh, what we're going to do is just swipe down and you can type in settings and you'll get the settings app. You'll want to go under cellular and then you can see I've got two cellular plans here. I have two phone lines going to my phone, so I would have to pay attention to this twice if I had two lines that were 5G supported. Um, but I go under my primary line here. You can see under voice and data, it's set to 5G auto, which means that it's automatically going to switch into 5G when it can, and then it will use LTE or you know something even slower when that's the only option that's available. So if I tap here, and then I could see I have 5G on, which essentially is 5G on all the time, not auto, and then I also have the LTE option as well. So as you can see here, it says 5G on uses 5G whenever it's available, even when it may reduce battery life. And so the differences between on and auto is that auto is going to kick you down to LTE when you don't need to have 5G connected, because obviously, as I mentioned before, the 5G capability is going to utilize a bit more battery life, and that might be something that you want to protect against. So that simple setting there will allow you to kick your phone back down to LTE and force it to stay in LTE if you want. The 5G Auto is going to allow it to switch between 5G and LTE uh, as you need it. And then, of course, 5G On is going to force it to stay in 5G all the time unless you're in an area where 5G is unavailable. So I hope that that helped you understand how to get into your phone and make that change. iPhones these days support two lines, and so you can have two lines coming into the phone. If you're interested in learning how to have dual phone lines in your phone, I have a video for you on how to utilize the dual SIM functionality of your phone, so make sure to check that out. If this video is useful, give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I put out new videos. But that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.